Are you a gourmand girly just like me? Well, I've got two new fragrances from Paris Corner that just might scratch an itch that you have for something new in your collection. If you're interested to see what they are, please keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome. I do hope you consider subscribing to the channel. I have a goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I hope you are enjoying the content and you help me to reach that goal. And if you are returning, hey girl. So I also wanna share something else. I went to the doctors today. I have a little owie and some band-aids over here. So if you see me stiff, I'm trying to cover my band-aids, okay? So if you see them, just pray for me, okay? All right, you guys, let's get into it. Up first, we have Banana Bliss. The notes are banana at the top, middle notes of caramel and cream, base notes of vanilla, sugar, and tonka bean. This is a gourmand lover's dream, okay? I don't have a full bottle, but I did get a five mil decant. And so I've sprayed it here. I've worn it on my body. So I have a good idea of who's gonna love the fragrance, who won't, if I like it or not, okay? So this opens up with a banana. Very, very heavy banana. If you don't like banana, you wanna be, you know, leery of this. You get a little bit of the coconut and lots of cream. Vanilla for sure. So for me, this almost smells like caramel popcorn. And so I was, when I was looking at the notes, I was like, is there popcorn in here? Is there caramel popcorn? But it's not. And there's some sort of combination of all of these notes that give it that sort of caramel popcorn, I'm at the circus. I might be at Cirque du Soleil. I don't know, but it's giving that type of vibe. Now, me and my skin, I put it on at around, mm, I wanna say 11 o'clock in the morning, and I could smell it at eight, nine o'clock at night. Like I was doing like this with my hands or you know, doing something throughout my day. And I'm like, what is that? And I had to remember I had this fragrance on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, the longevity on this is actually really, really good. Now that was just one wear, but I was impressed. I was actually quite impressed by the longevity of this um, fragrance. I will say it doesn't give a huge projection. It's not like someone's going to smell you when you first walk in or before you even walk in. Um, but if, you know, you're walking past them and you, you know, you have it on, they'll get that um, smell in the air as you pass them. You know how you pass somebody and you wait to see what they smell like and want to see if they smell good or not. They'll get, you'll give them this. You'll give them caramel popcorn smell. You'll smell super sweet. This is going to be great for the holidays. I think this fragrance would be really nice for um, younger people. So like if you have a little niece or, um, you know, a younger daughter, this, you know, would be great. Now I will say the bottle doesn't necessarily lend itself to being something that's um, like appealing for a younger person, but the fragrance absolutely does. Like if it came in a body mist or something like that, it would be so cute. Like a little, you know how Bath and Body Works has those little three ounce travelers. Those would be really great for um, younger people. It'd be great for um, stocking stuffers or whatnot. Like this just screens holiday 100%. Like it smells like all of the things like banana pudding it smells creamy coconutty the, the coconut for me is not the star of the show and i wonder if it's just in there as a supporting uh, cast member if you will um to help everything kind of just come together as this uh beautiful scent that i smell now i have smelled the banana, banana perfume um by ai the great this is more syrupy banana forward it's almost a little bit more synthetic kind of like those yellow that's what it is those yellow banana candies um that you get in um is it nerds it's not nerds 
uh, Gobstoppers. I think it's Gobstoppers. I'll put a picture up, but at either rate, it is giving that yellow banana vibe scent 100%. So if you like that, this is it. This is that in perfume. I would say that for me, this would be occasion specific. So like I could definitely wear this to a holiday party. Um, if I was going to like a kid's holiday, Halloween party or something, I would put this on. It would make me smell like candy or just something festive. Um, I could layer this with something a little bit deeper if I wanted to, to give it um, a little bit more depth and take off some of the playfulness of it. Um, if I wanted to go ahead and wear it, you know, to an adult event, if you will, it'll just make me smell a little bit sweet. If you don't like super sweet fragrances, stay away from this. Stay away from this. If you don't like banana, you know, very prominent sugar notes, stay away from this because you're not going to be happy with this. So if I had to rate this fragrance, I would rate it mm, like an eight, like an eight. 7.8, 7.8 to an 8 out of 10 <laughs> is how I would rate the fragrance. So far out off of me wearing it one time, spraying it when I got it, spraying it, sniffing it tonight. It's pleasant. It's fun. It makes me smile. It just smells like caramel cop popcorn is being brewed in the background and I'm at Garrett's or something like that. So if you like fragrances like that or you're looking to add that to your collection, please give Banana Bliss a try by Paris Corner. Up next is Tiramisu Speculose, I'm assuming. <laughs> this fragrance is also very, very, very gourmand. It's a little bit deeper. It has some um, deeper notes and some spices here. So there's coffee and cinnamon in the top, creamy vanilla and cacao in the mid and in the base there's musk. So. There's a lot of similarities between the two fragrances and I had to make sure that I sprayed the testers the right way and I did. And so upon the dry down, they actually smell a little similar, but you do get a little bit more depth um, with the tiramisu fragrance. You can smell the coffee, but it's not like overpowering. It's not like a strong espresso or anything like that. You can smell the cacao just a little bit, like a light dusting of it. It's nothing very serious. I think the vanilla and whatever creamy note they're using in these fragrances are the exact same, which is why they smell similar. Some of the synthetic note of the banana bliss is toned down in the tiramisu fragrance. It doesn't give that um, candy vibe of the banana. Uh, you get more depth and richness in this fragrance. Now, when I say richness, I don't mean that this is a rich fragrance. It's very um, flirty and sweet, gourmandy, but I wouldn't say that you can smell it and say, hmm, I smell a coffee note. Hmm, I smell cacao. Like it's just all kind of in there that makes one linear note or one linear scent that uh, will last you the entire wearing experience. And, and that has been the case for me. This one, I would say does not last as long on my skin. I definitely got a longer wear off of the Banana Bliss. But this does give more depth. It absolutely gives more depth. And I think that if you um, do end up picking up both of the fragrances, you could layer them together. And um, if you wanted something a little more sweet, you can have more Banana Bliss on. Or if you wanted something with a little more depth and cut off some of that sweetness, you know, put more of the tiramisu on and it'll give you, you know, the depth and richness of the coffee or the cacao to kind of um, round out what would be super sweet in the Banana Bliss fragrance. I feel like I also smell something a little spicy wonder if there's pepper in in here at all i know that they use pepper as a note in a lot of fragrances yeah this is really good it's definitely a little spicier on you know as it continues to dry down if i had to rate the tiramisu fragrance i'm a little bit conflicted because i want to rate it higher um than banana bliss because of the depth 
but then I want to give it a lower rating because of um, the longevity. So what I will say is between a seven and an eight. That's what I'll do. It's between a seven and an eight um, with the tiramisu, and I think I gave the banana bliss a seven point eight to eight. So that's where we're gonna stick it. So they neither one of them go above an eight, um, and the tiramisu goes as low as a seven. I think both of these fragrances would be nice pickups, but in my humble, humble opinion, you only need one. You only need one because there's so much similarity in the fragrances that once it hits your skin and kind of dries down, they're, they kind of smell the same a little bit. So I would say if you're looking for something that has a somewhat synthetic banana note that smells like caramel popcorn um that's very playful go ahead and go for banana bliss if you are looking for something in that same vein that's definitely very gourmand and sweet and still kind of gives you that caramelly sweet creamy vibe but has a little bit of depth which which comes from the coffee and the cacao and a little bit of spice from the cinnamon go for the tiramisu so i think that i'm actually going to pick up the um banana bliss only because i could spray it on my daughter and she loves it we were spraying it on each other <laughs> all right you guys so that is it for today let me know down in the comments have you heard of this fragrance have you tried it out? Do you plan on picking it up? I think it would be fantastic for this season. Let me know down in the comments. Also down below, let me know what your scent of the day is. I'm very, very, very curious. My scent of the day is Oudgasm Vanilla by Kaylee. No surprise. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Again, I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So won't you help me reach my goal? And again, I hope you are enjoying the content and would enjoy being a part of this family and choosing to subscribe. And with that being said, make sure that you are being kind to yourself. Make sure you are being kind to others and peace and love y'all. The world needs it. Bye.